let's start off with the best of five this time again. Um, I'll be quiet during best of five. I'll do Ike. And then uh, we'll switch around with different matchups because uh, there's probably not too many fundamental things I want to like, let you know of. And um, yeah, for sure. If, I'll be quiet during the best of five, but if there's anything you let me want to like ask, then just ask. Sure. All right. Uh, so it's basically a best of five Ike, right? Yes. All right. All right. Anyways, uh, what what stage do we go on? That's your choice every time. All right, no problem. I'll try as V.
<laughs> nice uh, adaptation there. I like how you started off getting walled out really much. You started, you kind of DI'd in, you were desperate for the middle, and then all of a sudden you thought, alright, let's just stay out of his range at all times and wall him out. Yeah. That's good. Thanks. But yeah, I noticed some of the ectosses, the, the very desperate ones at the end when you're cornered. Those are the ones that you need to... The close range ones you want to, like, stay yeah. away from. Okay, got it. So basically, you saw that when I was getting cornered, I would toss egg stuff like that. Yeah, like, once or twice even. <laughs> like, too much. <laughs> One okay. of those can lead to, like, a kill. So just, just um, do it from long, far away, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or mid-range is fine. You can also be ready a little bit more with dash attacks to punish my misses. Okay. Hmm. 
<laughs> okay, this game, um, you'll notice how many dash attacks I use to punish your misses, and you use zero to punish, um, punish my misses. Watch how many misses I had, watch where you could have dash attacked. Okay. I've been, I've noticed that in my head, it's like, okay, I can use a dash, a dash attack here, because, and, um, I don't do it, and I end up doing something else. Right. Yeah, usually egg toss, or usually, like, you wait around, <laughs> but, yeah. um, so, th that's kind of the thing about Yoshi that you're completely missing here, is that he has a long range whiff attack, or whiff punish, mm -hmm. kind of like how, um, Let's say who's a really good dash attack with Punisher? So Meta Knight, right? He like mm -hmm. when you miss something against him, he will just dash attack you. Or same thing with Captain Falcon, they will just dash attack you. Same thing with Yoshi, like that happens so much that you um right now it's not happening at all, but it usually happens so much. Mm -hmm. And this is not only whiffs, it's also landings. So let's say you throw an egg, it hits me from really far away, you were grounded so you couldn't do anything, you see that I double jump away and I need to land somewhere. You mm -hmm. could just run in and still stay out of range for where my forward air <clears throat> would be and then you, you stop and then I land and you dash attack the landing. Yeah. For example. Or, if you don't want to dash attack the landing, you can always jump in and short hop air dodge. If you short hop air dodge, you, the my attack misses because you're air dodging, and you can punish with nair. That nair usually leads into something. Got it. Alright. Uh, yeah. The only real applicability I've been using dash attack on, honestly, is, has been on matchups. <laughs> Matchup specific, like for example, Rosalina and Luma, where Joshi's dash attack would kill Luma re relatively easy. Right. Um, but yeah, I haven't, I've never been using it as a whip punish or land on coverage. So yeah. It means that I can basically miss against you safely. Mm hmm. Yeah, I can see that. Alright. I'll try and do them more this time. So, what do you feel is going wrong so far? Or w what is happening in the games? Well, what I feel usually is that when I get caught by pressure, uh, my disadvantage state gets really bad. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm usually... I usually try to uh, rush the way I recover, thus getting punished. Um, another thing would be not being able to handle this joint well. 
Right. <laughs> that's not you as a player, though. That's definitely Yoshi in general. But <laughs> I, I, I understand what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anything else you feel is happening in this game that you're getting punished for, or that is going wrong, or good, or whatever you can think about? Right. Patience, I guess. Because, um, for example, we stay put in one place, like just uh, waiting for something to happen. Mm -hmm. And I find myself rushing in. And in my head, it's like, why am I rushing in? But I rush in anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you feel, so, you feel uh, like yeah. doing nothing in neutral is eventually going to get you walled out. Um, and it's okay to like really try doing something in the middle of the stage right where we both have good stage control but as soon as you're cornered you do need to have a little bit more patience you need to find ways through the disjoint with stuff mm -hmm. like short hop air dodge or um anti-airs right so you if i'm gonna wall you out with the disjoint i need to jump first and you need to kind of catch on to when and where i jump which you're pretty good at but it can get slightly slightly more patient that's what i'm saying um mm -hmm. something else is that you can also roll out like just roll back much more because I, I, I saw you a lot of times you're just shielding 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 and i like how you you're trying to like release shield to perfect shield maybe i don't know but you're in place for too long and it makes you a very standing and easy target to hit so if you move you become a little bit more mobile so let's say you know an attack is coming, like you know I'm going to be spacing neutral air, I'm right above you, I'm double jumping, I'm stalling, and I'm basically going to be falling with an air or forward air. Just roll out, and at that point you can just whiff attack instead of trying to block attack or block punish. Um, that's kind of what the dash attack is for, right? Which, I you got some of them in this game. I know they're like still fresh, but I think you got the idea of when and where to use them a little bit. Um... Mm -hmm. You definitely, like you said, you panic and disadvantage. So you go for attack most of the time, whether that's neutral air or back air or forward air. Forward air usually off stage. You go for back air at zero percentage or neutral air at like slightly higher percentage. You're trying to combo break, but I have a disjoint, so that doesn't really work. You can't buffer the attack. You have to time the attack. So instead of trying to hit me with the attack, you need to like... You need to do a retreating forward air, for example, so that basically you you push me out instead of pushing yourself into me with something or trying to hit me too quickly. Um, so I basically punished a bunch of dash attack. Oh, sorry, I I punished a bunch of um, nair, like buffered nair, buffered back air in disadvantage on stage and when you're off stage as you saw that last game i knew you were gonna go for a forward air that's where you just also need to be a little bit more patient try to not be aggressive and try to actually look for um look for safety instead because i have a yeah. disjoint at that point um so basically not risk my recovery when i could just get in free what do you mean as in uh, for example Yoshi's double jump armor, for example, versus say uh, Pikachu. If Pikachu's jabbing, if I if I cancel my armor through an attack, he can just jab me and I die for it. So instead of attacking, I could just double jump in using the armor as safety. For example, yeah. What I meant more is that when you're off stage, like at the very, very, very off stage where you ba barely can see your own character, if you yeah. see me jumping off stage and I have a disjoint, don't try to forward air, don't try to go for anything aggressive. Because if we trade, I win. Like, I'm, I have a disjoint, you don't. So it's not even worth it, throwing out, an, uh, throwing out an attack. You just need to be patient, you need to wait, you need to stall a little bit out in the blast zone. If you see that I go off stage, take your time a little bit, and then try to throw eggs, try to air dodge stuff, try to get behind me or through me. Or try to just grab the ledge, for example. Um, so you play right. it safe, that's what I mean. Uh... There are some egg tosses that can be replaced with grabs, uh, neutral bees, uh, dash attacks, pressure with aerials, for example, instead. Uh, so I'll try pointing them out. And I'll also give you a challenge at the end of the session so that you can do later. I don't know if I told you about this, but did you do a whole day of not throwing a single egg? Yeah, I have. Okay, how how did that go? How did that feel? <laughs> hmm. You know the whole the whole uh, thing about how a drug addict stuff. <laughs> <and drugs and laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's basically how it felt. Like, okay, okay. Your, your body twitch is like, I have to help you. No, I can't. <laughs> so, yeah. Right, okay. So here's the thing. For for recovering, egg tosses is fine. But on stage, for anything else, don't throw an egg. Just as an exercise. Just to get that habit off. So that you can no. control yourself. Because it's mostly about some... Now it's a little bit more about self-control. Uh, but a little less than it was before, at least. Um, yeah. Let's see. <clears throat> I like how you apply pressure with forward air. Just um, make sure you're not doing it towards me. So make sure you can't get punished for forward air. Um, yeah. Also, you have um, you have an issue covering ledge jump. Have you noticed that? Yes, I have actually. Do you know how to cover ledge jump? No. Okay. Um. Usually, I just. Um do a full hop in there, and that would cover the neutral and the uh, full hop and the jump get up. I but, see. But um, it's not really reliable. Okay. Um, neutral air can work for sure. Uh, let me just get into a game with you. I just want to see a couple of things first before I talk right. to you about how to cover ledge jump. Because in order to cover ledge jump, you do know that you need to cover it preemptively, right? Mm hmm. So. In order to preemptively cover something, you need to know when it's coming. If you don't know when it's coming, you're just missing, or you're just guessing, right? Mm -hmm. So, in order to make me do the ledge jump, specifically at some time, is if you look at my grab here, it has invincibility and then it runs out. So what you can do is that you can stand here, as an example, let's put you there, right? If I want to make you ledge jump, um... Here, exactly. If I want to let you ledge jump, I'm just going to stand where I am. Because if you don't, this happens. So basically, okay. I'm covering ledge stall first. So I know exactly, exa see that? I know exactly when you're at least throw the ledge jump. So I would go for something like this into this, and that would cover the ledge jump at that point. Um, so I would let you grab the ledge, and its ability runs out, and then I would punish it like this. If you don't, you played it actually kind of smart or too risky. Otherwise, I would wait next time and I would punish the ledge stall like this. Um, right. And this becomes this becomes basically me just uh, like pressuring the ledge stall. I'm usually not punishing it, but because I'm pressuring it, I know exactly when you're going to be pressing an option. Because you don't want to get hit by the down tilt, right? I'm covering ledge stall first, and therefore I know when you're going to ledge jump. So, let's see if you can cover the ledge stall at all. Yes, okay. Does that work with Tipper? Yeah. Uh, it also works with this, which is more reliable. Yeah. You can yeah, do this yeah. Into, uh, I, I was going to say, one of the ways that a ledge jump is usually covered with Yoshi is uh, egg, right? Egg but it's only if uh, it's only if you time it right, because it takes a lot of time. You need, to, you need to find a good timing. So as soon as you see this and I grab, that's when you throw, and you got to aim it correctly, obviously. And as soon as... Uh, <laughs> As soon as I grab the ledge, you need to like see that. That makes me do something because I don't want to get hit by the egg, and so I yeah. time an option. And uh, so something I would do versus a friend of mine who's a Robin. He, whenever he gets on stage, I immediately do this because usually he jumps. Right. So, but if he rolls through this, I can just do this. Or if he neutral get up, I can just down tilt or grab it. I see. Okay, so but, but um, let's let's say you didn't have time. Let's say I went for this, right? Exactly. And I, and I went for this. Um, I grab the ledge with, uh, let's say, side B. How can you do it without an egg? Just as an example. Mm -hmm. Does down tilt work from range? Yeah. Uh, you mean uh, the... Your down tilt. No, versus your B or your side B? No, no, just versus my ledge hang. Alright, alright. Yeah, okay. One, again? Yeah. Again? Try it. Down tilt? Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> okay, try down smash. Oh, yeah, it does. Uh, it's a backward hit, so... Really? Uh, oh, wow. He has a lower ledge hand. <laughs> it works on certain characters, yeah. Try uh, the, the try it a little one. closer. Try it I can do forward smash down or downward jangle. Oh, okay, okay, try that. I, I believe. Yeah, yeah, okay. Perfect. That's one of them, then. Because you can go F smash, Nair, for example. You can go down tilt, Nair. That's also one. You can go down tilt, jab. I know that happens a lot where Yoshis just go down tilt, jab, and the base, the jab basically just covers the ledge jump too. So try that against me. Okay. So I'm gonna grab, down tilt. Wow. 
I think up tilt also should work. One more time. Get a little closer. There. No, I don't think it fits, no. I would have to be closer like this. Try Nair. Just try oh. short hop Nair. Short hop Nair. That one. Yes. Let's see if that works. Okay, a little closer. There it is. That's the one. That's usually how I would do it with Mario, at least. I don't know. There it is. And then you just kind of do it backwards slightly, so that you're slightly safer, too. Just like that, and then you can kind of throw an egg after that, or try to go off stage. But I, I feel like it's more more about the the timing, right? So you gotta know like when and where they ledge jump by covering ledge stall. And if you can't throw an egg, throw an egg for sure. If um, if there's no time, at least be ready to cover the ledge stall like this. If you don't have time to cover the ledge stall, it's okay. Back off, try to find a way to basically just not let me back into the middle. You don't need to protect. You don't need to punish ledge stall, like, 100%. If I'm ledge jumping, this means that I'm doing it so that I can get through you here, right? So, this is why, if you see me ledge jump and you see that you missed it, at least, at least protect this area, the middle. Don't let me have it. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, let's see... Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. What matchup would you like to play against? Can I try your link? Sure. Uh, usually, um, I do still have a problem with the projectiles and all that stuff, so yeah. Kind of works because Link is both disjoint and projectiles. <laughs> <clears throat> I played against Seth, uh, Midwest Mayhem 10, which was about, I want to say, about a year ago, which is crazy. Um, How time flies. <laughs> I think a year ago. I might, no, it might be no, less than that. No, I think it's that. less. It, I think it's less. I believe it was around November. Or December, yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. It should have been less. Um, but yeah, no, he does a very good job at, like, pressuring me, taking his time, throwing every egg perfectly. Um covering two frame with egg and into spikes and um like hard punishing with forward smash down smash whenever he feels like I'm basically pressured mm -hmm. and he's really good at also just like a lot of um a lot of Yoshi's like like I said they try nairing against this joint to like combo break when in reality you should just double jump out and then mix up your landing with, with neutral B for example yeah Weak hit oh. there as well. Oh no no no! Uh, I did it a little too late. It has to be the early air. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> During the, oh, it just uh... stopped. <laughs> Nice. 
Nein. A bit desperate there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that could have got me this fuck. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, you need to take that chance and go in after that. No! <laughs> you didn't go for it, I like that. Yeah, I knew. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I kinda figured you were gonna try and punish the jump. Yeah, after you hit down tilt, make sure you actually go aggressive. Alright. Basically, do tech shape and all that. Well, I mean, yeah, you put me into like a really, really bad spot, but if you don't take advantage, then I'm actually happy about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes sense. They give you space and all that, and mm -hmm. I'm not really pressuring like I should. Well, yeah, also, in my experience, that usually leads into death or a, <laughs> or a lot of pressure <laughs> at least, but yeah. if you don't go for it, then I'm just like, whew, okay, at least that that's not happening. Mm hmm. Okay. Take your time. Oh. Yeah. That's what I mean. Take your time at the corner. Don't uh, like the the aggressive options can all be punished with a disjoint. So if you're just trying to be more elusive and work around destroy instead of aggression, then my trades will not win. Oh no, I don't think so. Okay, maybe okay. maybe on Yoshi, but I'm not sure. Not in general. Mm. Nice. Nice. Bit of a risky double jump there. A little too early. Just slightly. Yeah, I was actually going to... Um... Double jump, fade back, and then exhales onto the ledge. I see, I see. Probably cover uh, an aggressive punish from you, <laughs> but it didn't work. <laughs> Alright. 
Also, don't charge your forward smash at the ledge. I, I, my two frame, but it's very hard because I can also tether. Okay. And I noticed this is like at least a uh, upbeat kind of hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I can, I can probably hit you too before it happens. But yeah, it's a kind of a the forward smash. It's a little bit of a habit because um, I secondary Sonic. So I see. <laughs> you do that a lot, so yeah. No double. Yeah, double jump. But... Thank you. What's FF, by the way? Uh, friendly fire. Oh, okay. That's your clan, or...? You could say that. <laughs> okay. It's a little group from my island, where we do local tournaments and stuff like that, so yeah. Careful about that full hop in there. You go for it yeah. all the time. Try to go for a short hop as well. Nice. Yeah, no, no, no. Take your time, but that's not worth it. <laughs> I started like noticing you throw um you throw you start throwing eggs when when you autopilot so it is a habit and it makes me it makes me like allows me to just run in and hit you with like a quick surprise option so if I play Sheik or Samus let's try Samus that's gonna be it's gonna be rough. <laughs> it is. <laughs> All right, let's see. By the way, uh, how much time is left on the coaching? Let's see. Um, we've done forty minutes. All right, so forty minutes to go. Yes. No, no, no we've right. done forty minutes. We can do like oh, thirty if okay. you want. Um, what other matchups would you like to play? Mm. I'll think about it. Well, oh, um, Mario, actually, yeah. Okay. Oh, I hate Yoshi as Mario. <laughs> I hate you, Mario as Yoshi. <laughs> oh, these trades, they hurt. <laughs> nice air dodge. Don't attack there. That was a black <laughs> that was a black <laughs> <Yeah>. egg. <laughs> it just roasted. Never seen that, so that's pretty cool. Is there get up into there? <laughs>
That always works against every single player. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm lucky I crouched that. Yeah. Should have hit actually, I think. Even if you crouched, I'm not sure. When I thought that at reverse, I thought like I saw you were gonna blast her. <laughs> Wrong way! No! Ah, okay, you tried yeah, challenging. Yeah, 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 I tried to attack that. I noticed. <laughs> the, uh, something that happens there as well, because you're, um, that was, I got lucky, honestly, but because you're trying to challenge with forward air, you're actually DIing in at the same time. So if you get hit by something like that, a true combo. Mm. Wait, even if I use the C stick? Oh no no! If you're a C stick, then you're you can DI however you want. All right. Yeah, because uh, I was trying to space the tipper of the pair, so I was spacing back. I see. With, uh, I see. Like anyways. Yeah. If you DI'd out on that specific moment, I think that was. I don't, I'm not sure, but I think that was DIN. It looked like it. I'm not. I've never seen. No no, that was DIN. That was DIN. Okay. Because that was sour spot back here to true back here. It was crazy. <laughs> That was a lot less egg tosses. I like how you played a little bit more careful. I have a little bit of a Samus XP because the number three in my country is a Samus. Okay. So yeah. <clears throat> Feel free to crawl more when you see me zaring. Three, two, uh, one, go! Crawl and zare? Yes, you can crawl under the zare or you can kind of Crawl and shield, for example. I believe you can hit me like if you jump back and then there. Well, yeah, okay. but you can still crawl in to get closer, so you can crawl, so you can move while you do that. All right. Exactly. So you can do that, and basically it allows you to shield whenever. But if you mm -hmm. if you run and shield, you can only shield after a while, right? But if you crawl, you can just you can just walk in. Can you not crawl? Just like hold down and crawl. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. So crawl and shielding <laughs> is really good against Samus because I have to respect it. Like, see that? Like, if you get close after one of these misses or after one of these shield, I can't go for one more jump there because you can just dash attack me. Mm. All right. Okay. <laughs> so we play or? Yes. Not sure. Okay, okay. <laughs> not sure what's going on. Right, right. Okay, space forward there. That <laughs> jab stopped it. <laughs> Back there is a menace. Wait, what? What happened there? You jumped. You jumped. Oh, my jump. Rip. Yeah. Oh, wow. Didn't work. instead. Ow, oh, <laughs> good stuff. Wait, wow. You jumped. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, I even told you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, winner is. Okay, I'll tell a little bit of Mario. I have this. I, you, I have I this. I you noticed I jumped and I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Twice actually in one game, but yeah, uh, in the middle I, of the pair. Yeah, I have this pattern where every single Mario student, like, I, and when I say every single Mario student, I mean like at least 35 of them. They all come to me and ask me, "What the hell do I do about Yoshi?" <laughs> and usually, I don't know. Like, I have a, I have a hard time beating Yoshi as Mario. Really? Yeah. It's weird because I have the opposite like situation where I suffer a lot with Mario, especially specifically on um, his throws and his up smash. I see. Well, I, I got you. The up smash is the only thing that is really good against Yoshi, though it seems like. Um, so as long as you don't try to actually get in that range whatsoever, it's fine. Usually, uh, all the Mario's I play, uh, since they're really knowledgeable in the Yoshi matchup, because um, there are quite a lot of Yoshis where I live, um, they always play... Basically, they always play the Yoshi matchup, which is basically waiting for Yoshi to do things and then punch that. Right. Um, so, usually I have a, a problem with that, where they just play reactively to what I do, and they're willing to time me out. <laughs> I see, I see, okay. I'm gonna try that. Obvious, I had a double jump left. <laughs> that almost killed me. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, that was weird. <laughs> that should have dropped the ledge. I think you could have caked me there and I was, and I was dead, basically. I see. <laughs> That's another problem with Yoshi. Uh, you can double. You can keep his double jump, and I'm basically dead. And you can also do that. <laughs> Ooh, just trade with neutral air. Okay, cool. I should've just done it again. <laughs> yeah, I thought the same. <laughs> Ow, wow, wow, he just jumped over it, that was nice. Yeah. He's up, he has invincibility, right? Yeah. Only in the head, right. though, so you can still down tilt me, I think. I think. Yeah, okay, you go for a lot of that versus Mario. You try to trade with forward air. Never trade with actually forward air. If anything, trade with any other attack that comes out faster or, or is um, better at covering you. Also, the key to beating Mario is uh, forward air spacing. So uh, we'll reverse the roles. I'll give you a Mario, I'll do Yoshi, and you'll see how it feels. Oh, I'll go Mario. Okay. No, 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 not right now. Uh, after. All right. So after this one. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I noticed that you also go for buffered neutral air, uh, forward air against Mario whenever you're in that disadvantage, and he just needs to up smash that. Alright. 
Yeah, both are very and really safe. <laughs> I think you need to go for a little bit more like neutral me, your versus and wave bounces, basically. Alright. <laughs> right into me. I saw what you meant earlier. With roll away. When you mentioned when you exactly when you mentioned the, the shield thing. Ah, I was gonna snap that. <laughs> I love how you fear that when it can just jump over. <laughs> 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 Just dash attack me if, if you see me like that, because that's that was like six misses <laughs> in a row. Exactly. <laughs> I whenever I see that the up smash panel, I just panic and don't know what to do. <laughs> just dash attack. All right, got it. If it's Does like it further away, you might be able to throw a or throw an egg, but I would probably just dash attack. But does that work? Doesn't that get punished as a hit? If I reverse it, you can. If you time it correctly and if you're ready for it and you can do it quickly, then yes, you can. You can punish it. it All right. Maybe not on block, but on miss for sure. Mm. So if you see this, uh, the up smash come out, then you just there. Uh, sorry, uh, dash attack. Yeah. As soon as you see my up smash misses, you just dash attack it. All right. Or try to at least. If you're too late, if you're Mario. too, if you're slightly too late, oh yeah, you were gonna go Mario. I'm gonna switch to Yoshi. If you're slightly too late, you might get shield punished, but it's not, it's not uh it's not his character. It's basically your fault for not being too ready for it. Mm -hmm. So by spacing forward air against Mario, there's only one thing you need to, or actually there's two things you need to think about. His, he's gonna roll in behind you, or he's gonna try getting a lot of desperate rolls uh, behind, and he's gonna go for a short hop air dodge.
I'm not Yoshi. <laughs> Oh no, I forgot! Oh. <laughs> so this in general is what Mario has trouble with. And what he does is that he has to jump in with back air, otherwise nothing happens. So if you can predict it, you can just short hop neutral air and anti air him before it happens. Here we trade. No! No! Yoshi! <laughs> wow. <laughs> the little hop. <laughs> there, I knew you we were gonna Ooh. jump, exactly. That's the thing. Is there any true combo out of dump so? Mario White? Um, shield. <laughs> Against Yoshi, <laughs> it's just shield. No, 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 no. Like, I mean, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Mario down tilt. Normally, combo, down tilt leads into up air. Or it All leads right. into grab at low percentage. Or m m up tilt, up tilt, up tilt. Yeah. Yeah. I knew we were gonna fish for an up smash. <laughs> That's a good counter against uh, the up smash too. I didn't realize it until I pressed it. <laughs> All right. But so it's a it's kind of like a <clears throat> pretend you're Marth. You jump. You swing forward air. He can't really challenge it. He can't down tilt. He can't jab. He can't dash attack. The only thing he can do is roll behind you. At that point, you just need to short hop air dodge, or you uh, sorry short hop neutral air to basically cover everything, and he'll get hit by that. Uh, you can also up tilt, that can work. You can also jab, that can also work. Um, but basically, covering roll behind is something that you want to condition eventually. You want him, you want him to try rolling behind you so that you can punish it over and over again. And um, the other two things is short hop air dodge and short hop back air. Those are the ones you want to anti air immediately. Because if you try spacing forward air and he back airs, he wins because he's, his back air is faster. But if you can predict it, your neutral air will be beat it. You could also possibly, possibly down air or, or back air. Uh, what I found most, uh, what I find most wrong with uh, the down air uh, is that when he releases it, the hitbox is big enough not to. It basically covers the down air. Like it's really hard to hit with the down air. I see. Okay, that's so. That's just the situational rare thing I use. It exactly. Like, yeah. But yeah, um, you, which character do you? I want switched. To? I switched to Mario. Alright, alright. Uh, after this, do you mind if I go Sonic real quick? Sure, of course. But did right. you kind of, did you kind of see the forward air oh, pressure at least? I saw it. Okay, okay. So, he, I don't well, know. I felt it. <laughs> if you can mix that in with like really good eggs, if you can mix it in with really good dash attack surprise option, if you can mix it in with good like F tilt, down tilt, up tilt walling tools, then you you become this like wall, right? And it's really hard for Mario to start anything on you because down throw doesn't lead to much, up throw doesn't lead to much. He has to like he has to find some kind of weird combo. Two, one, Don't shield, just wall it, wall it out. That was still a good grab. No! 
No. Oh. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was a scary situation. Yeah. And... Oh, wow. Oh, I did it in. Okay, okay. Well, well I mean, yeah, you threw an uh, egg. You threw an egg. Exactly. <laughs> Both times, I actually, I noticed I locked them because of one mistake. <laughs> I can't create yeah. it. <sighs> now, obviously, one thing I want you to just keep in mind. This is definitely, like, the playstyle of only using really well-spaced fare is a little... It's slightly new to you. Just slightly. Um, mm -hmm. so all I want you to do is just try being also patient with how you space fare so that you don't miss the fares as well or overspace them or try to depend on it too much. Mm -hmm. Try not to overcommit either with them. Uh, you said you wanted to play Sonic? Yeah. Okay, um, against... Whoever. Uh, if you want you can play Ike. Okay. Um, my main problem with Sonic is overcommitting with Psyche. Uh, Aside from that, I'm sorry? You mean you press it too much, or you press it at wrong places, or what do you mean? Uh, press it at wrong places. Usually I, I do decently well with pressuring with the side B, shield cancel, and all that stuff. But um, my main problem with Sonic as a whole is sometimes I feel like I'm halfway across the stage and side B can reach him and punish him. <laughs> so, um, that's one example. By, that's what I mean by overcommitting, like using it when I should. And um, side B should also, more likely or more be a com uh, conditioning tool, and mm -hmm. your approaches should be shield dashes or like pivot grabs instead. And or that's the other problem. Back, yeah. um, the other problem would be grabbing with Sonic. I can do the, the pivot grab to shield, the spin dash grabs, and all that stuff, but um, most of the time I'm missing them. That's uh, another problem mm -hmm. too. And, uh, yeah, that, honestly, it, that's honestly a so, uh, neutral game, basically, in punishing with Sonic. Uh, Sonic is uh, Mario's worst matchup, by the way, so if you want to switch to that one against Mario, it's fine. Oh, yeah, I, I saw that in the Sonic Discord, I didn't know. jump in those areas. <laughs> okay. 
Don't uh exactly. Yeah. Don't don't double jump after side B if it if side B doesn't hit. So you need to mix up much more side B through or side B uh just like just a side B jump without any aerial, because if you use an aerial your air mobility kind of goes super low and I can hit you. Also you need to be a little bit more confident in your movement, so you need much more like run side B cancel. And by much more, I mean probably a thousand times more. Like run side B, <laughs> run side B, run side. And by side B, I mean don't actually release it. Just use it, use it as a yeah, shield cancel, cancel, right? So w with Sonic, since he is a purely a whiff punisher, this means that you always need to be in range where it's not in danger, but still in range where you can run it and grab if I miss something, or in range where you can side B me at all times. So if I'm jumping, and you look back at the game. The every single little jump I do should n should tr you know you should at least try punishing. Mm -hmm. Like the run dash pivot grab and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pivot grab, uh, run shield, um, run in back air, for example, to anti air, and so on. But usually you're just you're you're a little um, insecure. I did notice that when I played a, a Sonic player over here, uh, I noticed his movement was much more uh, confident than mine. Whereas mine was just uh, thinking a lot, overthinking movement. Basically. Right. You're also double jumping with this guy. A lot. A lot. <laughs> I if, you, if you are double jumping, you need to side B. Ooh, that was a jab. I think I jab locked you. Exactly. <laughs> That's the magic present where you don't have any combos. Probably down throw. Also move there instead. Move in and out, try to punish the... Uh, how I'm getting back to stage, but take your time there too. Nice, better. Side B away. Side B is an escape just as much as up B. High five. Ooh, good up smash read. Side B. <laughs> exactly, much more of that, so that you basically move in and out in perfect range at all times. Also, be ready to, if you shield something, be ready to run in and grab, not just shield grab. Nice, much better. I need to be able to catch you at all times. That's all. You just need to make me chase you as much as possible. Ah. Yeah. I thought the get up attack was in range. <laughs> you also DI'd. You DI'd out on the down tilt, which was good, but you DI'd in on the. Uh, I think actually that was neutral DI on down tilt and then DI out on F4 there, maybe? Yeah, that was DI out. Wait, no, no, I DI uh, down and away, down and in. I see. With uh, on your folder. Okay, let's do one more with Sonic. It's basically your yeah. uh, your movement confidence. Uh, you need 
way. It, usually, I don't say this to people, but you need to press much more buttons in terms of movement. <laughs> and you need to go for a lot of like. Yeah. As soon as you see a jump, a short hop, full hop, you need to not only know how to uh, back air it as an anti air, but you also need to like be confident to get in range and just go. All right, three, two, one. Here we go to like catch it. Mhm. Mm All right. <laughs> you want to grab as I? You want to grab me as I'm like <laughs> hanging? <laughs> Oof. Yeah, no! <laughs> I knew it, I knew it, yeah. I knew it. <laughs> I actually thought you were quarter or something. If this was tournament, I'd just do this all day. I think I could have got you with <laughs> ow, 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 ow. I can still time you up. <laughs> Hold on. Ah. <clears throat> okay. Any questions so far? In terms of Sonic, honestly, no, because um, you basically told me all my problems with Sonic, which is basically complicated. Okay, okay, and you can probably um, you can you can definitely see them a little bit more now, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I wanted to do the set real quick so I could just look back and like, oh, okay. I need to do it. I gotcha. And yeah. And the um, Yoshi. Oh, um, another question I did have. Um, edge guarding as is another problem, like off stage. Pressure. Sorry, edge guarding as. Sonic, like okay. off stage pressure. <laughs> um, you usually the only two things that you're uh, going to be using for edge guarding is is up B, so the spring, um, and back airs, because back air lasts a very long time. Uh, so it's only those two tools, and then you got to mix that in with like how to go off stage, whether you want to spin dash off stage, spin spin shot off stage, whatever method you want to use to get yourself in position. You only got to use back air and uh, and sp uh, the spring, right? But so essentially, it comes down to your movement as well in terms of how you go off stage and how you position yourself off stage as well with Sonic. And there's many different ways, okay. as you probably saw in the Art of Sonic. So learn those. So <laughs> movement is always key with Sonic. Like without movement, you your your Sonic is like just a little. Just a little a hedgehog. Little <laughs> yeah, it's just like a little <laughs> hedgehog who doesn't know what to do. But 
or he knows what he wants and needs but he's either insecure about when to do it or how to do it or he doesn't feel like he's finding any openings he's just looking for very obvious uh, commitments and misses but all of these small are like short hop uh, full hop commitments double jump commitments all of those should be like moved with and punished immediately okay But um, I guess you can also mix in down air with Sonic off stage. It depends on like the the character you're playing against. But usually back air. Usually I do the the down air on linear recoveries. Right, I'll exactly. Like um, okay. but yeah, a anything you anything you uh, are wondering about the Yoshi? Does it seem a little bit more clear as to what to kind of work on the dash attacks? Less of these. Yeah. Uh, actually, another question I did have, I just remembered. I said offstage is Sonic, also offstage is Yoshi. Um, basically, yeah, using offstage pressure, um, how would I go with that? Because usually I just uh, wait for options and do Nair and Nair them out or forward Yeah, air yeah, stuff. Nair is just fine. Nair can lead into forward air. You can also forward <laughs> air in general. Um, mm -hmm. as a Yoshi, it's a little bit more about reading, right? So you do have to make a read off stage, or you do have to pressure so that you can make a read off stage. Um, it's not as easy as, like, go off stage with just back air, which you could, but it's not gonna probably kill unless it's, like, really high percentage. But, I don't know, like, Yosh Yoshi's off stage game isn't too strong. What is strong is hitting something like a strong neutral air or even a weak neutral air at the at the corner of the stage which could lead into forward air whether it's a true mm -hmm. combo or not just do it so that basically you force air dodges and you pressure in general so that next time you know you just need to delay it for example okay all right yeah um I'm trying to think of something else. Oh yeah, the back rolls. Much more back rolls. So that you can whiff punish a little bit more than standing in, uh, staying in shield for too long. The egg mm -hmm. doesn't protect you as much as it makes you stale. So move around a little bit more. And um, let's see. Less aggression at the corner of the stage. And whenever you feel desperate for a kill, don't go for it. Like, take your time. Be, be patient. Alright. Yeah, because obviously that's going to get me punished harder <laughs> when I most need not to Well, it, it might kind of throw off your own momentum because you've been outplaying the one person so well and then all of a sudden you're just like, alright, time to kill, and you just your momentum switches to let's kill and it's obvious uh, and it's yeah, easy yeah, yeah. to like... I get you. Yeah, because you're missing some small opportunities at that point, but... <clears throat> um, still, go for the um, for the <laughs> for the egg challenge. Don't try to throw any <laughs> eggs during neutral. And when it itches, when you feel that 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 druggy itch, um, <laughs> it's it's either two things, right? There's two different ones. There's either an egg where you could have thrown it and it would be would be perfect. Those are the positive itches where it's like, dude, you nothing's happening. An egg here is perfect note that down in your brain so that you know that situation and then there's the other ones where it's just itching but there's no point right you're just mm -hmm. like but why and that's that's the one that I want you to recognize so that you kind of throw it away um, yeah so but basically yeah, it, it, the exercise will help me take away the bad habits of egg top throwing exactly the because they're the only good one yeah yeah exactly because there's two kinds of like habits where your finger like it, i noticed that with my bombs right i did the no bomb challenge for like a whole day and i realized my my finger was itching for the down b every single time but it was two different <laughs> ones it was one where like i didn't press it and my brain goes what the hell are you doing why are you not pressing it like it would have been a perfect thing and then there's the other one where i, I feel like i need to press it but it, I don't know why, like, there's no, there's, there's, it wouldn't have helped because, mm -hmm. like, there's much more other stuff to think about or play against and so on. So, yeah, those two are very important to realize. But yeah, man, like I said, if there's anything you need help with, if you need another session, uh, just let me know and I'll set it up. I'll try exporting this session as soon as possible, probably tonight, and I'll send it to you tomorrow. 
All right. Uh, thank you. I'll definitely contact you soon enough. Um, probably after my next paycheck or something, I'll probably contact you for another coaching session. Sure, sure. Um, where Where are you from again? I'm just curious. Well, I'm currently in Ohio, but I'm originally from Puerto Rico. I'm right. going back to Puerto Rico around June. I see. I see. That's cool. Yeah. You'll but be enjoying so a lot of sun. Uh, definitely. Yeah. The only thing I won't miss are mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That sounds... Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But, eh, we'll see. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, but but yeah, honestly, thank you so much, and oh, especially for doing this whole coaching thing. Like it's helped not only me, obviously, a lot of other people. So yeah. Oh, for sure, man. It's a pleasure. It's always nice helping out people. Yeah. <laughs> anyways, I probably won't take more of your time. So have a great day, man. Thank you too, man. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye.